All right, we're gonna look at how to create some really awesome graffiti art to get used to how to use the curve tool and colors in slides. You could also do it in drawings. Uh, one of the first things that we did is we went to file and page setup. We changed the layout to a custom 800 by 200 pixels layout. You could also do variations like multiples of this, 1600 by 400 if you want a higher definition. And uh, Press apply. So this could also work as a classroom banner in Google Classroom or even at the top of a uh, Google site. So first thing we need is our colors. And I've left some shapes here. I actually drew these shapes, the curve tools, so that it would keep the formatting. And I'll show you what I mean a little bit later. And there are lots of sites where you can get you know, palettes for colors. And you can go to Google and just search for one. Or you can go to a site like Coolers. I don't know how you actually say it, but I say it, Coolers. Um, and you can just press the space bar until you find one that you like. It's really fun to just go through them and just check them out. I found one that I, that I like, and so I'm just going to select the color by clicking and copy. And I'm going to go to my graffiti, and I'm going to click on the shape, click on the paint can, custom. Click on the shape, click on the paint can, custom. Control V, press OK. I'm going to go back. Next one. Copy color. Do it twice. Because it's so nice. Custom. Control V. Got my next custom color. Get my Pantone orange. Custom. Custom color. Yeah, I am doing this five times. Click on shape. Copy. Boom. Custom. Color. There you go. Once you do that one time, of course, it's in your custom colors right down here. I also left another one. So the difference between these two, you could have it without a border. And here's one with the borders. Looks a little more graffiti esque. You can even make it a thicker board than this if you want it to look just more graffiti-like. So it's up to you which one you want to use. Cool, eh? All right, and all we're going to do now is click on the curve, and we're just going to click and 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 move and click and move and click and move and back to where you started. It makes a shape. You can click on the shape, format, Boom. An even easier way is I know my next shape is going to be this one. I click on it and click on the curve. This works because I drew those squares manually. Click and move and click and move and click and move and click and move. Boom. Next one, curve. You can overlap. Just be creative. Now one variation is just do the entire thing like this. You could also if you want to make an animation, you could control D. Oop, get out of there. Click on the slide, control D, duplicate. And then in this next one, make your shape. And you can make an animation as you go through and keep duplicating your entire slide and making new shapes. It'll be, whoa. If anything happens like that, click backspace. Perfect. Paint format. So we could make a little animation. But I'm just going to keep drawing. So I'm going to speed this up. I'm just going to keep on selecting a shape, selecting the curve tool, drawing my cool curvy graffiti shapes and continuing. So we'll see you. You can watch this as I'm doing it in triple time. Awesome. So there you go. There's just one example of some graffiti. You could, if you're wanting to check, select all like this and then see 
Hey, does that can look cool with the border? Ooh, I kind of like it. So you can decide in that way if you wanted afterwards. Now, if you did do the animation, you're going to need another tool to make that as an animation. And we'll do that in another video, how to make an animation with a different slideshow. So there's your graffiti art, which is a great way to get used to the curve tool and the paint format. By the way, if you ever want to paint a whole bunch of shapes, you could select any shape, double click the paint format tool and just paint away a whole bunch of shapes like that. So there here you go. Some fun things to do with our curve tool.